Good morning, guys, and welcome on this April 15th, 2020, on uh, this Wednesday. Uh, this time around, I included myself within the video. Hopefully, you guys remember what your science teacher looks like. If you don't, this is what he looks like. And um, I miss you guys very dear dearly. I hope everyone is doing very, very well. <clears throat> I would love to see you guys as well. So if you could send me a picture of you guys doing some work uh, and a picture of you guys maybe even watching the videos or whatever the case is uh, along with your work today, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. And for all of you who have been doing the work, it is different this time around. So let's go ahead and continue. So today, Wednesday, we are going to start with this do now which is what is your favorite electronic device? Now, uh, we tend to think of electronic devices as like cell phones, video game consoles, and that's right. But think about all the devices that actually use electricity. Those are all electronic devices. Refrigerators use electricity, they're electronic devices. Um, blenders use electricity, that are electronic devices. In my case, my two favorite electronic devices are one, the computer, as we can see right here, and two, a car, which also runs in electricity. It needs a battery, otherwise it wouldn't run. Uh, but though the, both of these are very, very uh, important to me and they're my favorite. We'll talk about why a little bit later. But in the comment section, please write down at least two of your favorite electronic devices, okay? Which are your two favorite electronic devices. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this is today we're gonna talk about technology. <clears throat> technology is something that we have that we use on a daily basis technology is how things have developed throughout the years it's now using electricity in order to make our lives easier so how has technology made our life easier think about that and um, it will come up as part of your assignment today but let's go back to the two things that i asked or that I mentioned that were my favorite technological advances. The first one being the car. Uh, the reason why this is my favorite is because traveling used to be like this on a carriage drawn by a horse. And in order to travel, it would take you days or maybe even months. People would travel from, from Texas to California and it would take them like two months because they had to go by horse or they had to walk. Uh, and you know, it's, it's very much a drag. Uh, me and my family go to Disneyland in California in the summers and we drive there and we get there in 10 hours from Texas to California. But that used to not be a thing back in the day. Now we have cars, which make life so much easier because you can drive whenever and wherever. Like at the longest, it will probably take you a day uh, to drive of, from like here to New York. It would take about a day. But this used to be a travel of like a month, give or take. Also, uh, to go to work, to go to school, to go pick up groceries, put them in your car, and then come back to go visit your loved ones and your relatives. Cars have revolutionized the game. Another <clears throat> thing that used to be very, very problematic was a typewriter. The typewriter, you would stick a paper in there, and then you would start typing. And then if you made a mistake, you had to throw out the entire paper. And then you had to start all over again and you couldn't make any mistakes. I remember my mom using typewriters uh, when I was like in elementary school in first and second grade. I remember her using that and I remember she would get really frustrated because she would make a mistake and she'd be like, ah, and then throw away the paper and have to start all over again. But now we have laptops through which you can just type. And if you make a mistake, you can erase, you can try again. You can just correct all these little things little by little. So, uh, these are my two favorite technological advances. Now, let's talk about the work that you have to do today. Today, you have to complete a T-chart that lists the things that we call technology and how they make our lives easier. So, it could be any device. And on one side, you're going to put the name of the device. On the other side, you're going to list how they make our life easier. Okay? So, what is that going to look like? Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up in my computer. This is what it should look like. So you should have a T-chart, okay? On one side, write technology at the top. On the other side, how does it help us, right? So in my case, 
I wrote cars. And then how they help us, people can now travel easily between distances of many miles. Uh, and then next one, computers. Uh, and how do they help us? People can type easily, access the internet, create documents, watch movies, and stay connected with loved ones, which is very important now, you know, that we have this whole quarantine thing going. So if I were doing this T-chart, uh, then I still need three more, right? Because I have two, but I need five in total. You guys need five in total. So create a T-chart, um, pen and pencil. Uh, you need five technological things and five ways in which they help us, all right? So if this were mine, I still need three more. So don't just give me two, I need five. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time uh, to watch the video today and the lesson with me. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, and don't forget to send me a picture of you guys working or just a picture of you guys watching the videos, whatever the case is, so that I can see your faces as well. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure that you guys are all right. Thank you so much for all your time and have a wonderful rest of your I'm so sorry. I think it cut off there a little bit. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday.